Welcome to the Porn Stars of People podcast. I'm Dan Brickland. I'm here with Carmen Valentino. What's going on? Hi, I'm glad to join you today. How are you? Um, yeah, I, I, your name your, has practice in your name because I don't want to fuck things up on the way in. <laughs> and so the, um, uh, I just kept doing this radio voice with your name. I was like, Carmen Valentina. It should roll Welcome. easily, oh, doesn't it's, it? It's a beautiful name. It's a perfect <laughs> name. Welcome to the welcome to the episode, Carmen Valentina. Uh, coming on down. Uh, so thank you for thank you for doing this. Um, this is my first time in Tampa. How do you like it so much? Uh, I don't I don't have anything I don't have any experiences to say that it's good or bad. Uh, I literally drove to this room uh, in the Bubble Radio Network, and I'm now I'm just doing this. So so far it's great. I came to Tampa and I met a porn star. I'm doing a podcast. Do you I like can't. do you like the humidity here? I, I Florida for me is a lot. I can't understand how to function. Like I'll, I'll uh, first first I'll put the I'll blast the air conditioning in the car. Then it gets too cold. Then I'm freezing. Then I open the window and then within too hot. ten minutes I'm too hot. Yeah. So then now I'm blowing the air conditioning and doing the window, trying to figure out how to how to make it work. You What's the secret? After a while. That's it. You just uh, sometimes I'll wear a sweater and put the AC on. I have heated seats in my car, so I'll like turn on the no. heated seats and then like have the AC on me. <laughs> I think I just don't think it's I don't think it's a healthy situation. Is the is the problem? I because I I don't think my body should have to take that big of a, a of a jump from one minute to the next to be frozen and then be immediately hundred percent humidity, hundred degrees outside. I think I'm going to get sick. I think I'm going to die in there. You're not going to get sick. <laughs> no, I got to drive through, like, uh, like the Everglades to get over here. Yeah, I came they, from, they from call the, it, like, Alligator Alley. Yeah, there was, like, all these, uh, like, huts that said, like, live alligators, and they were closed down. So then my next question was whether or not, uh, the pe- like, the alligators took over and, like, killed all the people. Probably, maybe. It's like a leftover, like, uh, Jurassic Park. Depends how hungry they are. Right. Well, it's, they have signs, like, don't go over there. Well, but it was like it used to be a business. The business was live oh. alligators, and it was closed down. There's a place like an hour away. It has miniature golf, and you can feed alligators on like a little fishing pole with like hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. It was actually kind of fun. Yeah. They'll like run up to the little hot dog and eat it. Oh, so they're like they're like tame alligators. No. Who, they, like enjoy it. They're it's still like wild alligators, yeah. but they're just like you know. But you're describing like they're cute. Like I've never I've never heard anybody describe an alligator like oh he's just running up his cute little legs. <laughs> And it's just, like a little dog and then begging just for food. a giant mouth and just eats a piece of hot dog and possibly your arm. Um, <laughs> well, it's on a fishing pole. Yeah, I get so you it. You know, like, it's, it, there's no way you can even, like, put your arm out and even be close to them. Yeah. So it's, like, on a super long stick, like, 10 foot, and then it's hanging on a straight, uh, like, a string, and then uh, you just feed the alligator. That's, uh, that could be fun. That's it's a Florida could be, for It you. could be scary, yeah. Uh, you know, I just, uh, that reminded me of, I just, I, this is crazy because it's 2017 this shouldn't be the case but i just saw jaws for the first time really like a, like a couple days ago yeah it was on um it was on you know it was on spike or one of those channels and i just I was like you know what i haven't seen jaws uh, let's, and now now it's happening i'm gonna see jaws <laughs> now um, you're not gonna want, go in the water at all no, anyways I'm, I, well i'm already afraid of the water i got stung by a stingray when i was in like fifth grade oh yeah i think it i think it might have been it was either here it must have been here it was either here or Orlando. I think it was Tampa. Is there it can't pl- be Orlando because Orlando is nowhere near the ocean okay, so or then, the Gulf. So that so that helps. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in the so middle it was of probably Florida. Tampa. It was, probably t- <laughs> it was you know it was either uh, in Tampa or it was in New York City. You know I can't I just can't figure out which one it was. No, uh, you didn't the, do this stingray shuffle. No, the Don Cesar. It was at the Don Cesar. Like the, yeah, the, the that's like clear that's water. Yeah, that's okay. Clear. That's right here. Okay, cool. So I got to go back and visit my, visit the stingray. No, here's what happened. I made a buddy of mine. Uh, we're on, like, my father's, like, he won a trip, like, from sales uh, conference thing for, like, nationwide insurance. Um, I, we don't know the, I don't know the shuffle thing that you're supposed to do. You're supposed to shuffle your feet, so and, then they, they, like, and, then, and then they run away, they swim away. Yeah. Well, so we didn't know that, and then on top of that, we're picking up handfuls of sand and just throwing them at each other. And like bombing, because it was like, cool, it was, you're a kid, and it's just like, it hits you, and it's just like, you know, it's like, ha, 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 it's equivalent, ha. yeah, it's equivalent of like, it's like a snowball fight. Like, yeah, sh- yeah, exactly, you know, or like shooting a, you know, fake gun at somebody, because you, you can see the hit. And uh, so I, so I go, and I, and I reach down, and then something kind of shuffles around, and then, pow, right in my foot, and I was like, oh my God, something bit Ooh. me. And then that actually, that day, I think like 15 or 20 people got stung by stingrays. Like, like they shut down the beach. It got crazy. Wow, yeah. is that many stingrays? Yeah, but what I would, time of year was it? I have no idea. It was, it was, it was midsummer. Like, it would have been, it would have been like now ish. No, I guess it would have been August, August ish. Yeah. July, August ish. 
Yeah, it was, it was, so it was Tampa. Yeah, so that's my only memory from Tampa, is, uh, <laughs> is getting almost killed by a stingray. And never again did you go in the water? No, I, uh, well, I've been to other oceans, but it's, I'm still skied out. Like, I'm from upstate New York, so, like, we have lakes. Uh, but even, like, you just don't want it just the bottom. Like, that's the, like, that's the goal when you go to a lake. You just stay. You just keep your legs up. You don't want to walk in. You What's jump at the up bottom above. of lakes? I've never, it's like, just swam mud. lakes. It sticks. Like, Ugh. I don't know. It could be stingray. Like, I have no idea. You know what I mean? You just don't want it. You just don't want to touch it. It's gross. And you and you just you're afraid because every movie also was like there's something down there so you just you just you just hike them up and you just uh, what is it called tread water and jump off the boat that's pretty much all you do it's a whole different culture I didn't know that this was weird my buddy it was from Pennsylvania we're going to go to a place called Sylvan Beach it's on Oneida Lake he calls his mom he goes hey uh, we're going to the beach and then like there's like conf some confusion on the phone call. And then, uh, like, his mom was, like, asking him questions. And he was like, oh, yeah, sorry. He goes, yeah, they treat lakes like oceans here. Like, I didn't know that was weird to just, like, go to the lake and, like, call it the beach. But, like, nobody else does that. I've, I've heard that before. Like, when I um, lived, I grew up in Vegas. Okay. So I would have, like, people be like, oh, we're going to go to the beach. And they're, like, talking about, like, some lake in yeah. Arizona. And yeah. I'm like, what? Like, What's the, that's not the beach. Or, or, or like, yeah, I had some friends in Chicago. Like, one went up there for college. And she's like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to the beach. Like, someone who grew up there. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's a lake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not a beach. So we call it. It's all we have. It's all we have. Don't take it away from it's us. It's not a beach, damn yeah, it. We don't, yeah, we don't, have, we don't have the beach culture. It's, it is, and it is weird. It's always, it's always jarring for me the first time I get in the ocean and then get hit in the face and then realize it's salt water. It's like, it's a very, it's a logical thing. But it's like it doesn't, you know. It's it's just a jarring. Like you just, it's like a take. It's a take for granted thing. Just like if you jumped in a lake over by me, it would be cold and it would be. It actually, it's actually pretty delicious. The lake water's pretty delicious. The water's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> so you okay? So you were telling me. Speaking of all that, you said you did an underwater scene this morning, which I have so many questions. I don't understand <laughs> what any of that is. Um, well, so. well, here in Tampa, there's a lot of fetish companies. Yeah. Like ridiculous amount. Um, not not as much porn companies. You you kind of have to travel to Miami or LA to go shoot for porn, but Tampa just full of fetish. And there's this one place. It's about an hour outside of Tampa, and I've been I've shot for them for like seven years, and uh, it, the guy just shoots with his underwater cameras, and you just go in the pool. It, oh. It's more of like a horror kind of. Um, fetish is not like made for jerking off. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, wait, okay. So it's more to like scare the fans. Like it's kind of like a scary movie underwater thing. Okay, but so the fetish is the underwater part. So, so you can't. So you can't surface. Is that the whole thing? Well, he edits it, edits it out to where it looks like you're underwater the whole like yeah. fifteen minutes, and then eventually like you drown at the end. Oh, that's oh, it's that's almost like a snuff film. Yeah, kinda. Like something happens, like like the pool is haunted, and then like something's holding you down, or okay. or you or you strapped yourself out, down without realizing it, and you can't it's get like back up to the surface. Everyone's biggest fear, <laughs> right? Some girls can't do it because they freak out. It's scary. Yeah. So okay. So how do you? So once you're doing that, this is this is an interesting thing. So. So, dude, who dude with the camera, obviously full scuba gear, whole deal. He's breathing. Right? Oh no, he he just stands up uh, above, but puts his hands. Oh really? Like, with the camera underneath. Oh, this yeah. Get in. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Wait, how big is the pool? We're talking just like backyard pool. It's like a regular pool. backyard pool, oh, okay. but it looks okay. way bigger when you're oh. under, when you're inside because yeah. uh, you can't really tell how deep it is. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's crazy. Well, well, shoot. Can... Now I want to look this stuff up. That <laughs> sounds crazy. Yeah, you can go up for air anytime you want, um, but. He, he, like everything, like it makes it look like you're stuck, but yeah. then you can easily just get yourself out yeah. and get some air. Well, don't ruin the allure. <laughs> you couldn't, you couldn't get up at all. Um, that, this well, then they can hire me over and over again if yeah. that was the well, real listen, thing. <laughs> what's the, what do they call it? The suspension of disbelief. Okay, that's what we do. Um, no, that's uh, that's one of my favorite things in 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 all those like underwater movies is the scene with the with the guy and the girl and one of them is up, is up and somebody's stuck so then they go up and they get a bunch of air and they come down and they kiss it into you you can okay. actually do that you can yeah. do a good five six seven minutes like sharing yeah? each other's air oh, that's crazy man that's uh that's yeah that's some, i don't that was that was always the game we had porno backyards so that was the game was uh was was trying to see how long you could hold your breath and i found that the secret was relax everything and hold oh, you 
you gotta hold on to the air as long as you can because as soon as you as soon as you put the well when you put the air out you can go like another 20 30 seconds yeah because of all the pressure in your chest yeah. you want to let out a little by little by little and yeah. it's always good to hyperventilate beforehand like get really? a lot of oxygen in your blood so when you hyperventilate you're getting more oxygen in no your sure. body and your muscles have more oxygen and when you're more relaxed and then you just let out a little so you're bit just sleep, and you're like breathing into a bag or what are you doing no. What do, you, what do you mean hyperventilate? Like taking like deep breaths really quick. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Not in a bag though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the whole thing where right? he's like, oh, I'm hyperventilating. And they give him a bag. He's, he's yeah. over. When I, I used to be a lifeguard when I was a teenager, so I would hyperventilate right before I had to swim a whole bunch of laps if I had to do it under a certain amount yeah. of time. So I wouldn't so feel as out of breath. So you're like, you're a professional. <laughs> you got this all figured out. That's why you keep getting called back for this because you're not freaking out and you. And you figured out the breathing tactics yeah but the long, long as i can hold is about two minutes like I, that's that's insane <laughs> the, like the now look I, I wasn't the best i think i ever did was 60 seconds uh when i was doing it like in, in our backyard pool and i would like hang i would like i would basically hook myself underneath the ladder and just chill and 60 was the best i could do two minutes is that's crazy that's like it's like olympic level no, I, I think Olympics could, uh, level could probably hold it longer than me. I think. Well, I think they figured out how to because well, they because they come out and they come up and out. So I, I don't know. I I think you you could be in line for some kind of Guinness record. I feel like. And then when I'm moving around a lot under wa water, I can do about a minute. Yeah. Because I'm losing so much oxygen. Right. Because your body's using it. Yeah. It's all logical, but it's just it's, it it is it's scary. But yeah, I bet I bet I bet you ha I bet you could have the if there's a Guinness Book of World Record for longest nude breath holding i feel like i feel like you're in you're in line for that you're in contention for that actually that that sounds interesting i should yeah. start practicing for that yeah. actually i am in the guinness book of world records Are you really? from like uh how many years ago was it vegas i went home for vegas after college for the summer and vegas was doing a whole like summer of like the guinness book of world records and like they had trying the, to get vegas back on the map yeah and they had a uh, world's largest bikini parade okay so everyone supplied us free bikinis there was like over a hundred girls yeah probably like I, I forgot how many girls and they give us all free bikinis and they're paying the girls like each a hundred bucks each yeah. and we just had to walk a quarter mile around the strip that's like great. from the wind casino to fashion show mall yeah and then all our names are entered in the guinness book oh, of world record what year was this ah oh, this is like i can't remember like 2008 or 2009 one of those years. I wonder. I wonder if people still care because that was the big thing uh, when we were in high. Well, when I was in high school, I'm, I'm in my 30s, so that was the big thing. So it was like, oh, what's the, what's the Guinness Book of World Records for whatever? And we would like buy that stupid book at the book fair, and we'd like go through it. And, be, and there was like the sports one, and the, so high school and and, uh, and elementary school and and, uh, and and grade school. Pretty much, we were like obsessed with it. I haven't heard about it in in quite a long time. I think the fact that it even popped into my head is kind of weird. I wonder if people are still like. I wonder if there's still the guy who's just like reading the book, like trying to like try, try to break every trying to break the thing, and then, yeah. And then he called. He's got to call up the board, and they have to like come to his house, and he's like, "I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna eat fucking 150 goldfish," and then he just doesn't do it every time. And I think that's illegal going. in the U.S. Is it illegal to eat a goldfish? Because it's live. Is that is that a real thing? It, it wouldn't it be like kind of like animal abuse because you're like kind of crushing it live. You, you can't do anything anymore. You know, it's really if you can't eat a goldfish in, the, in this. In I this don't day know. And age. I think it might be. A, I don't know. It might. Every state's different. Next, you're going to tell me you can't eat your children live. You know, what is, this, what, is this, what is this place coming to? What is this country becoming? That you just can't eat live, eat your child. You know, for two children. <laughs> Come back the next day without an arm. Yeah, just well, no, you don't. No, you, you're not gonna <laughs> eat it piece by piece. No, you're piece, not gonna go you piece. Know, you want it fresh. <laughs> yeah, you, you want it fresh. No, you do one, in one all at once. No, you to, did you see it? Oh my God! Yes, they I loved that, it. They ate that little dude's arm and it. Poor little kid. I uh, I don't know why, but I was so I've never been more happy in my life than when than every time he came on the screen and started drooling. Did you get have that experience? Were you were you freaked out or were you? I was so I, happy. I never get scared from scary movies. Yeah. Everyone's always like, "What's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "I know it's acting and it's and you, fake. How am I supposed to be scared?" Yeah, and you know, and you know, because they start doing the music, so you know something's about to happen. Yeah. So you're like, yeah. The only thing that like legitimately almost like kind of kind of got me was uh, was when he would do that like weird like uh, pulsating walk. Yeah, so right before, that was kind of creepy. So right before he was gonna kill somebody, he would like wah, 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 he would like zigzag walk in, like serpentine walk in, and uh, at like a high speed, which I, which is just, I guess that was that's his defense mechanism to not like, 
to not. I mean, that's because that's hard. That's uh, first of all, it, that's a hard job to kill all those kids and then not like I can't hang out with kids without getting kicked like in the balls a couple times. Like <laughs> I was hanging out with my cousins' kids. They were all getting ice cream last night and they were like tickling me and like I was like being injured. So for it to be able to kill a child. Successfully without getting like wailed on, I I'm pretty impressed with that. That's a, that's a skill set. Well, he yeah. did get wailed on. At the end. end, well, he did die. Yeah. Well, I don't want to give I don't want to give away. The whole, but actually, but you know what? The movie. Well, uh, well there's the a books second from, like, part. The there's a second part. Everyone knows there's the second. Oh, part. Oh, I don't know anything about that. I and didn't. The kids see... are all older. Oh no, I don't know anything about this. They grow up and then like 27 years later or whatever. Again, like, he comes back again. He comes back again. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you just ruin the movie? No, everyone knows that. <laughs> I didn't. That, if that's why it says chapter one at yeah. the end okay. instead of chapter two. Yeah. Well, so what was the so what was the eighties movie? Did they do both parts in the eighties movie? Well, the original movie or original in the book is supposed to take place in the fifties, and yeah. then they're all grown up as like the eighties. Okay. So they did this more for modern times. That's right. why they did the eighties. So then when they're all grown up, it's more like our time right now. Right. Well, and it's more fun because they they get to make all the new kids in the block references and all the stuff from again sort of my childhood. But uh, so yeah, I, that was the other thing. I the movie's wildly funny. I don't know how. I don't know how. Oh, that little kid! He had the best comments oh, ever. I couldn't stop laughing. And I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's the current writer. If that was Stephen King, because I haven't read it. Uh, but basically, I was just tweeting. I was like, Stephen King needs to write uh, comedy. He's he's great. He's <laughs> really true. funny. Um, the other creepy part about it was, uh, um, or Pennywise was when he was on the TV. I would say that was the creepiest part of him on the he TV. Was on the TV. When, when they're a little, little kid show and the kids are singing on the TV oh, and it's in yeah. the background. I would say out of the whole movie, that to me, that was the creepiest. Yeah. Well, I got freaked out. I'm not freaked out, but like I got... There's something very real to me about like that bathroom scene for some reason. Like when uh, when when the blood starts coming up. Yeah. When the blood starts shooting out, she like can't stop it. I also like... I don't... I, I, I don't... I didn't love that, that I don't... I don't get like a lot of explanation. Like why... Why was she still alive? Was that just a fluke? But all those other floaty kids that weren't eaten, why were they dead? I don't understand. Because she she wasn't um, afraid of him, so he he he, did, he liked. They tasted better, I guess, when they were scared. Yeah, but he, he got more power from. But it. he didn't eat all those other floaty kids. So no, those were all dead. Those kids were all dead. What? But he but they were right there. Yeah, but they were dead already. So how, so what? He just like ate an arm, and that was it. I think I don't know. Maybe it was just their souls. Is that, yeah, that's, so that was the part I didn't, I wasn't sure about, and then I don't, yeah, I still don't know how he can, how he can control the things that he can't put. Because when everything, like, when he was, like, disappeared, everything fell down, but you didn't really see bodies fall down. Yeah. But then also, is he, um, what was I going to say? Uh, now, the, the, in this movie, was this a, was this like, was this an actor, or was this all... Uh, like a computer generated person. Oh, it was an actor. Was it? Yeah. Do you know who it was? Oh, I forgot his name. I have to look it up on IMDb. I like how you, like you know all this information. I, I, do, I love going to the movies. I'm such a movie whore. What's, uh, what, so what's, it's uh, Monday, October 16th. Something just came out this week. Is, uh, I saw Death Day and then Foreigner this weekend. I don't know either of those. Death Day is like this chick, uh, she keeps getting murdered and it's like deja vu. Yes. It's like Groundhog Day, but like, yes. it's funny. And she's gorgeous. The writing in the movie is hilarious. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of like a comedy in a way because like I couldn't stop out. laughing for a lot, a lot part, lots of parts of it. There was there was a fun thing that uh, there was a Tom Cruise movie like that where uh, where, where he, every time he failed he would die and then and then come back out and like have to redo the whole thing again. It was him and uh, um, the British chick there. Uh, do you know what we were talking about? So there was just some. So then there was something very funny about every time he would fail, they would just shoot him in the head. He's like, no, 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 and, it, and then he. Oh, I know. Over yeah, with Tom Cruise. Um, very fun movie. So that was. I could see where that being funny. With the aliens and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the death day, like, you think it'd be scary? Like, a, like. Not at all. No. Interesting. Interesting. There's yeah, a little twist they, at the end that you're not predicting. Okay. Well, don't, I predict don't ruin it. that one. Don't ruin. <laughs> that one. Wait. So what's the other one? For, what's Foreigner? It's with Jackie Chan. He's like oh, the old yes. guy How who's was getting that? revenge. Not much of a plot, but yeah. really good action film. Okay. Yeah. You, you'd be disappointed in the storyline because it's kind of like, eh. But that's like yeah. every action movie. Right. Well, this is this, that was my favorite part about action movies when they um, when they started acknowledging how dumb they were and then started using that to their advantage. You ever see a movie called uh, Last Action Hero? No. With Arnold Schwarzenegger. Basically, they took this idea that he was this last action hero. He was in the movie, and it was another one of these movies where, like, something magic happens, and then he comes out of the movie. So the character who he was playing, like, you know, it's like a Terminator character, comes out of the 
the, the movie screen and starts hanging out with this little kid and then he and then other like crazy movie villains end up in reality and they weren't trying to be serious about it they were like kind of being hilarious about it uh, so he would like try to do stuff from action movies you can't do like he'd get shot and he'd be like this hurts like this actually hurt <laughs> and so there was just this fun thing and then same thing like True Lies uh, which was a uh, James Cameron movie. They did the same kind of thing where they did like this. Like there was a scene where like this, he's running with a horse, and everybody in the theater is going, "This guy, he can't jump a horse from one building to the next." But they're like doing the big music, like it's going to happen, and then the horse, of course, slams on the horse brakes, and then oh, that like, poor horse. And, fly, and, and, uh, and Arnold Schwarzenegger flies over the top, you know, and has to hang on. And How like, old is that movie? I never. Both of those movies are like are like nineteen ninety two ninety three. So you're talking uh, okay. 24 twenty-fourish years. That you know, like the height of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Came Killing it in the, in the box office. All right. They're great. I have to look it up. They're both they're both great movies. And then there was uh, and what's his name? Bill Paxton was in uh, was in True Lies as this just this kind of sleazy character. And that's like the first time I realized Bill Paxton is just in every James Cameron movie. Like <laughs> that's he's the only true. that's the only thing that's that's the only break he got was like that was like James Cameron's friend. Just like uh, Spike Lee's got a buddy. Yeah, they, like the every movies. director has like that one person they love using, and they're not in any other movie. Right. Like no other director Ron will hire Howard's them brother. except for that one guy. Right, Clint Howard. That's Ron Howard's brother with the weird. You know, he's got a big crazy. He got like a big face. Yeah, I know her. Yeah, I know who you're talking he was about. One of the, he was in uh, Apollo 13 in one of those scenes. You know. So okay, so what's the best movie? The, I feel like movies are going downhill. What's the best movie you've seen in a while? In a while, like recently. recently? Yeah. Um. Hmm. I really like the movie It. I thought that was really well done. I have to go through my I phone. Know, I don't know why. See what I've I don't know seen. why it made I've me seen. so happy every time he drew, like he was drooling. That scene where he's I like that when his eyes weren't like they weren't fixed on anything. They're just kind of like looking yeah. somewhere like kind of off. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yes, I like that. The creepiness of it was just really cool. Oh, Blade Runner was really yeah. Good. I saw that last week. That was amazing. Yeah. So I saw. So I, I saw. I like the the new one versus the old one. Though. And, I don't, really and nice. I don't remember the old one. So and I was like, I might lose a couple little plot points here and there. But if I don't, you rewatch I don't it, the graphics like back then were amazing. Yeah. It was like nineteen eighty two or whatever. Yeah. Now you watch, you're like, oh my god, this looks horrible. Yeah, you can see the strings. <laughs> the graphics are horrible. You can see the strings right there. What are you doing? <laughs> like you get to see the cutout of the little yeah. flying cars. Right, and it looks like so fake. And it's painted like in the back, like in Wizard of Oz. And you know, like back in the day, you're like, oh, that's so fucking awesome. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're just like, holy shit people like this movie yeah so that that's where I was I was I was at that debate where I was like do I get the do I get the the, the what was it 80s 80s 90s movie go watch it and then get caught up or do I just go into this thing I like going to movies cold I used to see previews and they would fuck up the movie oh I love previews well some previews fuck it up because like all the good stuff's in the preview and yeah. then you go watch the movie and you're like Wait, that was it. That was th- the whole this movie. Is boring. Yeah. yeah, that was the well. That was the big problem with like the Jim Carrey movies in the nineties was they put every joke in the damn preview, and then you'd show up, and then there was nothing. And then else. nothing's funny. So, so I, so I'll see the preview in the theater because I can't. I like to see the the trailers in the theater, but I won't like when the movie comes out. I don't rewatch the preview because I don't want all that. Because you're also like you're also you figuring like out, it. yeah, and you're, or you're like you know you're also like. Predicting stuff from the from the trailer, and sometimes if you predict the wrong thing, and then and then it goes the other way in the movie, then you're like kind of annoyed. I like reading the reviews. I trust the reviewers yeah, I do. a lot. Who's your, okay? So who's your go-to on the reviews? I, uh, ain't it cool dot com. Interesting. Have you ever read them? No, I just go to Rotten Tomatoes, and I've been I've, I decided this year to go to Rotten Tomatoes, and if I come out and I have a similar opinion than Rotten Tomatoes, then I'm just then, then that's the people I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. Where I'll go to Rotten Tomatoes and look, but like the the Ain't person I like cool. the most, AnyCool.com, and then they have this one uh, critic. Uh, his name's like Capone, and he's like the best review. Interesting. I don't like the other guys, but he he's like the best. So one. that's your guy. <laughs> Shout out Capone at at uh, <laughs> uh, You have a fan here that you didn't know about, uh, and you guys have the same movie team. And he's honest. Like so, I think some of these is like like on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. You you see some of the. Reviewers and it's like okay, this person's gotta be an old person because they have no sense of humor to understand yeah. this, or See, they're I, just writing it because they're getting paid. Yeah. Or well, who do you trust more, the the negative review or, or the positive review? I'll I'll try to go by like the majority. Yeah. So I'll kind of trust that more. So I don't. I like that you read the actual reviews before you go to the movie. So I'll, I'll read some, like the little snippets. Some, yeah. some of them are really long. I'm like, I don't want to ruin it by reading this whole entire yeah, review. Yeah, no, I just look at the percentages and then I just, and then I just go. So if it says if it you know if it's really if it's like 
and I'll, and I'll just put two movies next to each other. So if one of them's at 60 and one of them's 80, I'll go to the 80 off of Rotten Tomatoes. And it's usually pretty right. I, it takes a lot for me to be uh, upset with a movie. Like, it's still like a fun experience. Yeah, I, I trust the reviewers. It's like they put a lot of like effort into writing them and stuff like. And people don't take like into consideration how much effort it goes into just writing a review. Yeah. I, I took like a movie critique class in college. I thought, oh, this would be easy. I just get to watch movies all yeah. day. No, we had to write like six page essays and yeah. review it. I'm like, holy shit! Uh, now I know the pain these like critics have to do with yeah. writing all this stuff. See, I, well, so I did it for a little bit for this online thing, and I, I really enjoyed it. I, I had a really good time with it. And then uh, I took a rhetoric of horror films class in college, and I thought it was great because you could just like because with that you could just argue any point. You can, I mean, you can just pick something out of the movie and then just say that oh well that's uh, you know that's an extrapolation of like society and like how men treat It's kind of like a book reading class yeah, but with movies. Oh yeah. Once I realized, and that's the thing. In, in high school, I, I made the mistake of not realizing that like English is the best class because you can just write anything and defend it, and then you're right. They, they can't. As long as you defend it well, they can't tell you that you're wrong, and that's beautiful. the only thing you can't defend. Is poor grammar. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. So yeah, as long as you as long as you eloquently and correctly use words, uh, you can basically say anything. I mean, and not repeat the same thing five times. Right. Right. Well, you do. You repeat it with different words. That's that. That's the other trick. That's the other trick to writing an essay. Is you is you because you got to summarize and then say it and then state it and then resummarize. Some, some beautiful. teachers would be really picky and be like, uh uh-uh, uh, this isn't good enough. Where are you going with this? You yeah. keep repeating the same thing. So. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think it'd be so. I, I miss it. I do miss it sometimes. I do miss because then because then it, cause then it really gave me like the motivation and the need and the necessity to go see the new movie. You don't you don't write like in your spare time. Well, no, I'm a comedian. All I do is write, and I try to convince people of things that may or may not be true, and you know my opinions and stuff. But I'm not writing movie reviews anymore. And then I, fi- I do find that people are very soft on on movies. Like I've, I've seen some movies that people think were very good, and it it's a it's a thing that you know I don't know. Once you start talking with somebody, and you guys both have the exact opposite opinion about, about a movie, you can't really go any further. Like, one person's like, that movie was terrible, and they just start trashing it. And you're like, no, I, I kind of liked it. Yeah, the only movies I don't like are, like, Zack Snyder films. What's Zack Snyder? He does, like, the DC, like, um, Batman vs. Superman. I hated yeah. it. There was no plot to I it. Tried. It made no sense. I it was tried. all choppy. And then... Uh, how did, like, Batman and Superman all of a sudden became friends because their moms had the same name? I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. There's no reason why Lex Luthor hated them. Although, it just started him hating them. Yeah. Like, there's no backstory of why he's hating on them and trying to destroy them. I'm like, yeah. this is the worst storyline ever, and everyone's always defending him. I'm like, he's great at graphics. He's great at, like, visuals, but, like, don't give him a pen and paper. Please, take it away from him. Right, yeah. Don't, don't give him, like, the storyline or... I don't like him as a director. So I ignored the first, I ignored like the first uh, couple renditions of both of those films. Uh, and then I did, I was like, you know, I got to say, everybody's saying how Suicide bad. Suicide Squad wasn't that great either. No, that was bad. And so <laughs> everybody was saying how bad, but then, but then, but, so, but then sometimes you go to a movie because of, because it's just like one thing. Like, so for me, like, you put Will Smith in a movie, I'm just going to go to that movie. Yeah. Regardless, that's, that's just, and it could be bad. And that's fine. It's something you're going to have to deal with, but you get to see Will Smith. He's like, do you, do you have, do you have one of those people? No, I tend to just go with the movie. Yeah? Yeah, because you never know. Like, some actors are really good in one movie, and then you get the bad director, and they're horrible yeah. in it. Yeah. Well, because it's not even that. Cause, well, here's what I learned uh, very early on, was that, like, you can you can have all of the story, you can have all the material, you can get all of the shots, and then if you got the wrong editor... It comes oh, out like a true. different thing. So like, like, but then that's also the director's fault because he's true. supposed to oversee the editor. Yeah. So that's then, his own so then fault. you're looking at this movie and you're the actor that you put your time and your effort into, and you're going, no, like, the, the, the drama was there. I was in the room. We did it. How did you fuck this up? Yeah, the only good movies from Zack Snyder are the ones where he copied the comic book exactly. Like Watchmen and 300. There was no creativity. Yeah, was if, if you go through like 300, it's exactly like the comic yeah. book. Storyboard. Frank Miller. Yeah, he yeah. just copied it exactly. There's yeah. no like, that's the only good movie Zack Snyder does because he didn't fuck with the comic book and change yeah. the story. But but I, I will I will say one of my one of my uh, critiques on movies is if there's too much narration on the front end and the back end and it's like and you're taking it from a comic book because you need that you need that second that other piece because there's only you know there's only so many sensory things you can get out of a comic book. Uh, so the fact that there was so much narration in those things a little bit kind of killed it for me. Who, uh, who so who directed since uh, Sin City? That's one of that that's one of my favorites. And yeah. that was another one where like the the uh, the second rendition of it was terrible. 
I didn't see like, the second one, but I heard bad reviews yeah, about it. Like th- 300, the second one was bad. Because everything that was great about the first one... Because, yeah, it was gone. It was gone. exactly. It's done. <laughs> Some movies can just be one movie, guys. That's... That's enough. They get greedy. They want that. They want that more money. Yeah. More money coming in. Well, I, and then I, I, I will say the exception to the rule is there should be many, many sequels to the you doing underwater movies. Those sound. Those sound. <laughs> those sound well, e- each time I go, it's a different story. So it's never a sequel, <laughs> I guess. It's just, I'm either the victim or I'm like the one that's like killing the other girl in the oh, yeah? water. I've done that. Oh, we're, shit. we're to pretend to choke each other, or I, you know, or oh, something fun. like that. It's fun. It it's just fun. exhausting. I have to get up at five thirty in the morning. Yeah. Why? What's the? Why, why is it five thirty? Because uh, and then I have to do my makeup. So how do you do underwater makeup? That's the other question. Oh, you just don't do the stuff that like kind of. You use waterproof mascara. They have waterproof like eyeliner and yeah. stuff like this. So you just use that, and uh, just try not to touch your face a lot while you're underwater, so you don't smear it. it just smears off. And then, so I'll leave the house by 6.30 after, so like an hour getting ready, eat breakfast, and then, because it's like morning traffic, it'll take like an hour and a half versus an hour to get there. Yeah. So then the shoot's at 8. Yeah, why do they have to shoot at 8 for an underwater scene? Oh, because he doesn't want, because in Florida, it always rains in the afternoon. Oh, no shit. So he doesn't want like lightning or rain in the afternoon. So morning's part, like if I, I haven't been waking up, so if I wake up at 8, 8's gorgeous in Florida? Sometimes, yeah, Just, most of the time. Yeah. Okay. Because in the summer, it's like every summer, like right at like 5 o'clock in the evening, it starts pouring. It's pouring, yeah. And then the morning is like perfect sunny, everything, and then towards the evening again, it'll get all cloudy. Yeah. Now it's the fall, so it's like kind of nice all day long. Yeah, I've been having weird, I've been having weird weather, I've been having weird experiences. I keep getting freaked out. I haven't lived in like the suburb kind of, and it's not even like this, I'm in Lauderdale, it's not even really the suburbs, but there's just something like creepy about coming home to an empty black house. Uh, that I don't have the experience. I live in New York City, so I don't have that. I live in Hoboken, so I don't have that experience. There's always people around. There's always something going on, right? So the other night I get home, and uh, the lights are off. I, you know, I, I, I had a show way north, and I had to drive back, and I get home at like four in the morning. All lights are off. I'm freaked out. Go to sleep. Because you saw the hearing the traffic outside. Yeah, so, yeah and I didn't the realize. Light, street yeah, lights. I, didn't, I didn't realize how how. Uh, uh, how much noise I'm used to and how much noise actually makes me sleep better. So, you know, I'm turning on music and stuff just to, like, to pass out. Next day, uh, I go to bed early, but then at, like, 5 a.m., I hear, like, um, footsteps above me. And that's normal for where I live. Like, you're just like, oh, my, my you know, the upstairs neighbors, they just got home. And they're, down they're, here, they're, you're freaking out. It's yeah, not I'm, normal. I'm, well, no, but I'm like, I... When you wake up in, like, a place you're, you're not used to being, you don't know where you are for a second. So, like, I'm just thinking, like, oh, and I hear, like, little, uh, I hear, like, little nails. Like, little, like, uh, like, like, toenails or, like, or, like, dog nails. And, like, yeah. oh, the upstairs neighbor's got a dog. And then I, like, wake up and I'm, like, dude, I'm in Florida right now. Like, there's no, there's nobody above me. This is a, this was is a house. Was it raining? It wasn't raining. There was some fucking creature crawling around on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I start freaking out, and I start like worst case scenario. So I start running scenarios. So first I'm like, okay, there's like there's like a little there's a leak, and I know that the owners know about the leak. Maybe maybe the maybe there's guys here and they're fixing it. Maybe they're up there with a the ladder. And then I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. It's five o'clock in the morning, right? And then I'm like, okay, I don't know what this. Like, I mean, it sounded big enough because I could hear distinct footsteps and distinct like nails. So I just started freaking out. I started flipping on all the lights outside. I'm like hitting the car alarm. I didn't know what to do. I freaked out. It's probably just some raccoon. It could have been a raccoon. I saw a raccoon when I first came into that neighborhood. And this is great. I don't know. Raccoons are creepy. So oh, they're so cute. I feed one at my <laughs> house. Yes. Not well, this one. This one was... So I came in the neighborhood, and then I just see something get up and start running like he, like he, like he stole a TV. Like, it was like that energy. And I look, and it's this fucking raccoon that I thought that was, like, bigger than anything I've ever seen. It was, like, the size of a dog. <laughs> And I was like, I was freaked out. But it could have been him. It could have been him on the roof for sure. I think they're adorable. Like, I started feeding the cats outside my house. Because, like, I saw one with, like, a limp. I'm like, oh, he can't hunt. He's a limp. I'm like, poor little thing. So, you know, you, gotta, you don't want to get rid of all the outdoor cats. Because, yeah. like, they kill all the rats and stuff. Sure. Or whatever's sure. nearby. So you always want to keep them. Cockroaches. They'll kill anything from what Exa- I Yeah, exactly. So you won't have many, like, rodents or pests or anything. So what do you feed a raccoon? He eats cat food. Okay. So I, I I kept noticing like why the fuck is the food bowl in the backyard? I kept putting it in front of the garage. So he picks it up. He would pick it up and it drag back. it because he was like I a selfish you, little. No, fucker. they're creepy. I told you they're creepy. They're always up to <laughs> no, something. No, because he didn't want to share with the cats or other like raccoons. They like, run would... around the neighborhood like they stole a TV. They're creepy. I think they're breaking into houses. They're creepy dudes. That's so, all it is. But but now I got a bowl where he can't pick up. So what'd you do? You 
And then sometimes I. Is it so he, heavy, he, or you got, or you? Or no, because he down. can't lift it with his fingers. He's got thumbs. The no, he can't, got basically he can't all lift hands. this one. He has a hard time because it's like kind of like curves. Uh, yeah. I so, okay, so, I, you. so you got the you got the lay flap on. No one. Yeah. There's no lip on it. The there, yeah, no lip. Oh, so he has a hard time picking it up. So because I kept getting tired of like pick, like trying to find it in the bushes or something. Yeah. Because he eats it and then he chucks it. Because yeah. he's a fucking creepy dude. <laughs> but he's so cute. Because then when I open the grass, sometimes the other cats will hear me and they'll come running, and so I feed them. And they're still kind of scared because they're feral. And then the raccoon, he'll just come up and he stares at me. A cute little face, and he just picks up the food and brings it up to his mouth. He's like, mm-hmm. he eats it like a person. He eats he it like puts a person. It in his hands and eats it in he the, takes, he puts it in his hands and he brings his hands up to his mouth and starts munching While on it. While making eye contact with you the whole time. And he's really sweet. I've never, I feel like he never hissed at me ever. I if I get too close, to. he'll just climb up the tree. Oh, he just pieces out. Yeah, he's like, okay, I'm too scared. Bye. Well. Whoever was on the roof of this house came down off of the tree and then took a huge dump right in the thing. So this, so the raccoon, Could have been a raccoon. the raccoon, that, huge. yeah, the re, the raccoon that we have is not, he's not a nice person. Okay, mm. he's a real disrespectful <laughs> man. So he's not. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should put a bowl out and then. Uh, I don't know what I'm putting in it. I guess the only thing in the house is dog food. I don't know. He, I'm sure he'd be They might eat that. Don't eat anything. Yeah. They're like, you know, garbage pandas. Like yeah. is, that, is that what they call them? Garbage pandas? <laughs> no, have you seen the movie? Uh, what's the, that's a Marvel movie. How, why can't I think of it right now? Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, yes. Remember he so calls funny. him a, a garbage so panda? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or trash panda. I think it was trash and, panda. Well, and, this was the, and this was like the insult they really got in his... In his that was in the second the, movie. The one that really hurt him? No, it didn't hurt okay. him, though. The, um, He's like, what's that? <laughs> he didn't know what it was. They were... What's the other one? There was a there was a, there was was a a raccoon character in Over the Hedge who was, uh, who was, a, who was a real... He was a real douchey man. He was uh, he was very disrespectful in the same way. He was uh, like he like he like stockpiled other stuff with the, with his crew, and then he basically just tried to jack all of it and leave without it. Raccoons are not good people. Is what I'm saying, guys. Okay, you, can't you haven't met the right raccoon. You, you can't, <laughs> You're you stereotyping can't, You can't right trust now. raccoons. Okay. You're stereotyping. All they do is, you know, all they do is say that they're that, that you're in a relationship and they fuck other people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> raccoons are not trustworthy. They take your food. No. I maybe, think they're adorable. Maybe you're right. Maybe I haven't, <laughs> I haven't met the right charming raccoon. Maybe that's the problem. You just need that one raccoon. I'm just gonna meet that life. one super charming raccoon that's gonna, you know, sweep people- me off my feet. There's some people that own raccoons as pets. Yeah, I, I've seen, I see that. So I, so I, I do get in these weird little Google trains every once in a while. Here's what I found out the other day. Me and my cousin, we were getting into like a pretty decent sized debate about uh, how cats can't be trusted and how they're, um, they're, they're dangerous. I just don't think I can win in a fight against a cat. They're just like little humans. Because, like, dogs love I everyone. Have, and with cats, you have to earn their love. Yeah, They're like little mini humans. Yeah, but I don't, have, I don't have claws and, like, an amazing jumping ability. So it's like it's a whole other thing. So, like, from a physical standpoint, <laughs> I can't beat a cat in a fight, and I'm afraid of it. But here's what I learned. So you, I, we Googled uh, cat attacks man for, like, three hours and found nothing. We found nothing. I've had a cat attack someone. Yeah? Okay, so I was doing, I got a custom, sometimes I'll do customs for fans. They want me to do a custom video. So I'm like, okay, I'll do this. This custom, the guy wanted a tickling fetish. So okay. the guy had a, like, he wanted the guy to be, like, a robber. So he's wearing, like, a black ski mask. And he's supposed to fake chlor for me. So we get, like, a fake little, he's like, white like rag. A, he's dressed like a raccoon. And, uh, <laughs> don't be me. <mean. laughs> So he pretends to like chloroform me, and then I'm struggling, like, oh no, no. My cat, I'm filming it in my house, and my oh, boy shit. cat, he sees it, he freaks out. He's like, oh, no, someone's attacking my mama. So you can see he it on camera. He doesn't understand the concept of acting. No, he, see, he sees, like, someone attacking me. And so, and this person's been to my house a million times, and he's and never you, wait, you attacked can see, them before. You can see on film him see the process? Yeah. Oh, but he's great. like, he's like, you know, hide, like he's by the couch, and he, like, slowly goes in, like, is she okay? I don't think she's okay. So then he goes in, bites him, and scratches him, and he go, runs off, kind of hides again, so he can't, like... Just like a, he just does a quick one. He was bleeding. He wow. bit him so hard. And then, and then he was nice again. And then when we started the scene again, he attacked him again. Oh, shit. Every time it looked like I was struggling, and, yeah. like, because uh, I was predicting the struggle, and kind of I, for I, like, I like how uh, I like how you didn't put him away after the first attack. No, I actually was like, thank you so, because I can't punish him. <laughs> He's trying to protect me. You can't punish like yeah. a cat that's trying to protect its owner. So I put him up in the bedroom, and so he hears me struggling again. He opens the bedroom door, comes running down, and attacks he me the third the time. Door? 
Okay, I'll give you a shot to open the doors. This is great. And then, um, so eventually we finished the shoot, and the guy's this like guy's bloodied up. I'm spraying like vaccine spray so he doesn't get like an infection. Yeah. It doesn't like, feel any better. Bandaging him up. And so I got the guy, custom guy wanted a sec, uh, second one. I'm like, okay, God, uh, let me get a chick this time. Maybe that might be different. Nope. No. He, like, we put him in the bedroom this time. I'm like, okay, he should be fine. And I'll film like where he can barely hear us. He could hear me like struggling again. Opens the door, comes running down the camera. Like, the girl? The camera guy's like, stop, 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 stop. And then she stops, she's like, why? And then the cat, my cat, is just looking at her like, like he's about to attack yeah. her. And then when she stops, he's like, okay, you're fine. And then walks away. That's crazy. So cats are very protective. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and I couldn't punish him. I gave him treats. Cause yeah. I felt, oh, so cause of course like, he's like, going to keep attacking what, Well, what's, so what's, what's, like, imagine that someone actually, like, yeah, robs my house. Like, yeah. if I teach him, don't protect me. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. I, that's the thing I wonder about and worry about sometimes is I, I don't know if my dog would have my back. You know what I mean? It's like and half of me wants to like yeah like like fake a scene just to see what she would do. I don't think I don't think she's got my back like that. I saw a YouTube video once where like um it was like it was called like Savage as Fuck and like this person pretends like what would happen if I fall down and like pretend I have a seizure? So she like they fall down on the ground and then the dog just keeps walking just away. Right over. <laughs> yeah, keeps on walking. You just see the leash dragging just, like, away. Just walks over her like an NBA player stepping over a guy. He just yeah, down. It, 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 and then that. they made like a little meme of it saying like Savage. Just fucking like, savage as fuck. <laughs> Dog did not give really a fuck funny. about his owner passing out. That's really funny. So yeah, I'm I'm worried, but yeah, that's so you you your 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 cat is ride or die. But I I also but my girl cat didn't do shit. She'll oh, just okay. sit there so and be like one. she she loves cuddles. Like if there's a chick with tits that come in my house, so like oh titties and like she just wants you to hold her all day long on your tits. I want that too. <laughs> um, I I here's the thing. I think your cat's gonna eat your if you die before your cat, your cat's gonna eat your face. What did a dog do the same thing? Dogs don't eat people. No, they don't do that. I'd highly doubt that. That's if they're hungry, no, they no, will no. Eat you, you. You'll come home like they've they found they found people dead with, and the dog is just like laying on the floor next to them, like crying. And then they find people <laughs> who have died, and then they find the cats, and the the person has no face, no skin left on their hands. The I cat, think cats are like, well, they're already dead. I might yeah, as well like, get food off of this. So, you know, they're they're. Well, my favorite part is like I don't, I don't like. Uh, how is it, how long before your cat eats you? Like like well, you got to find out what kind of cat you have. Like is, is your cat gonna wait like like two weeks or is like your cat still has food in the bowl and then he comes and eats your face? My girl choice. cat would probably not because she's really picky. She she like sniffs wet food and walks away. She, she just, just smell your face, she right? just wants dry food. That's it. My boy cat he'll eat human food. I give him like pizza and spaghetti. Does he, eat, does he eat it like the raccoon? Does he sit up on as he sit up on his butt and he just eats it with his hands? No, like, but like, he, like so I'll be eating cereal and then he'll like reach his paw in my hand and just pull it towards his <laughs> face. So like you little <laughs> asshole. And then I'll eat it off the spoon. Yeah, he'll try to. Oh, like, stop so it. So I'll, like, scoop some milk and I'll pour it on the table and he'll just yeah. lick up the milk. Oh, that's funny. But, like, every time you have food, he'll do the, like, you're, like, you're trying to eat it and he just puts your, like, this and he'll stare at you and he, like, slowly tries to pull it and you feel, the, like, the pool. That's so like, funny. Like, he's not even being nice about it. He's just trying to get it closer to his mouth. I love those, uh, I love, I've never had a cat, so I still don't understand, but I love those cat videos where the cat is, like, making eye contact and then whatever's next to him, he just takes and he, and he pushes on the floor. Have you seen these ones? Yeah, like it's a douchebag like cat. And he just waits and he just goes, and it's just like, and it's like apparently just a thing that cats do. My my cats don't do it. But my brother's cat, I got my brother a cat for his 21st birthday years ago, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get you a cat. <laughs> so he's had this cat for like 10 years, and uh, when he first got the cat, the cat would just like knock, every, he would just stare at him right in the face and just like, throw it off the counter right, <laughs> right in front of him like don't you do it don't you don't do it, do it. Like, fuck Pal. you your brother bam. is probably the uh, the director of most of the YouTube videos that I've seen then because that's basically <laughs> you just described exactly what, I, what I've seen but his, his cat's like an outdoor indoor cat so his cat will bring him home like rats and yeah, pigeons yeah that's what I hear he has a kitty door yeah I hear that they br- and they'll bring and they put it on your bed they, 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 they yeah. like they eat the heart and they, and they like dissect it and they put it on your pillow and they're like I got this for you <laughs> I know he's, a, he's like he's like damn it and it this cat's name is Taquito, and like he'll bring like rats with like twenty inch like long tails. Yeah. Like he'll measure, and he's like, "Oh, this is disgusting." Or someone's aren't even dead him? all the way. They're oh, like God. half half alive, and he's like, "Oh, he hates it." You gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta do the job. You know, yeah. Don't don't bring it home and, and have uh, and, and make Danny finish up finish up the, the you know the work. You're gonna kill <laughs> a rat, kill a rat, and do all the work. That's all I'm saying. 
But, yeah, the cat, cats are they're very lovable. Once you have a cat, you can't go you back. Just, you can't end the story like that. You just had a story where the cat <laughs> where the cat half killed a rat and then brought it home. You're like, he yeah, doesn't, you know. He does it all the time. You know, time. cats are crazy, you know. <laughs> you just got to give them treats. You don't know. They be attacking people and stuff. It's not you a big deal. You can't punish them for trying to keep your house rodent free so outside. I felt so good about not being able to find videos where cats attack people. And you just told me, like, multiple stories where cats are attacking people. So now I'm, now I'm, now I'm more freaked out my, than I was my, my boy cat, he, he attacks if I'm getting attacked. He doesn't so, attack people so out then, of the blue. So then what if, you're having, like, what if you're having rough sex? No, that's never happened. He's never he can tell the sex? difference between rough sex. I like and that he's just in the room for when you're having someone like trying to like torture me. Yeah. Fake chloroform. <laughs> he know somehow he knows the difference because yeah. I've I've had sex he's before. He's a fucking creep. That's why. He's my little baby. I love him. <laughs> what's, what's, what's his name? Churro. Churro? And my brother's so cat Taquito, yeah. and then my girl cat's Gordita, so I was just like, I'll go with the Mexican food theme. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. Do you ha are you are you what's your background? What's your uh, a Bulgarian. Oh, no, sure. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So, and then a uh, quarter Irish, so a little Irish. It's in just there. in there. Just no, no one can see that. Just sprinkle <laughs> in there. Just, just a little bit. But I have people, they think I'm like every, like, I, I guess I have an exotic look, because I have people, like, all different ethnicities think I'm, like, Italian, or they'll think I'm Brazilian, or they think I'm, like, Colombian, or... Like I have like every different yeah, type of like. I, I love that. That's my favorite. That's where that that's where I sit. Is uh, if I just wear a different accessory, then I can fit in with a different group of people. Yeah. Like just give me like a different style hat, and then all of a sudden I can be another group of people. Or like a different cut in your shirt. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever the thing is, like you know, or just like even like a different like food accessory. Like I'm eating like plantains. All of a sudden I'm Dominican now. You know. <laughs> um, what are you? I'm Italian. I'm Italian. Well, and I have, nobody's yeah. Nobody's thought that I was Italian in quite a long time. Well, if you're down here in Florida, they're all going to think you're Spanish. Uh, well, that, I see. I think, and here's what I found, is people that are the thing that people think I am, does that make sense? So if somebody thinks I'm Spanish, the people that are Spanish, they, they're they like, no, he's not one of us. Like, that, like nobody nobody that's, <laughs> that is the thing, everything, they're, it's just the people that are outside of it. They're like, oh, you, you're Spanish, right? And I'm like, no. Uh, so, but the only people that have ever tried to claim me was uh, was Egyptian people. Because I did it, I was, oh, I was doing yeah, a show Oh, yeah, I could once. see, I could see you kind of look like Egyptian people a little bit. And I, and I said something about, about uh, people, somebody thought I was Egyptian once, and then, like, there was, like, this stirring in the crowd, and I was like, are you guys Egyptian? And they're like, yeah! And I was like, yo, can I, can you claim me? And they were like, yeah, come on! Uh, so, so that was that was. The see, first I thought Spanish happened. people think I was Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, well, I used to work customer service jobs. They'll just start to, like, I, I had a customer service job. I used to work for like uh, par Parks and Rec in Nevada, yeah. and they would always want the, all the Spanish ladies would come up to me versus the person who is next to me who yeah. actually was Spanish no, and could talk Spanish, and they'll just start talking Spanish. I'm like, uh. Um, and they're like, can you come over here? Rosita, so Rosita, so. come over here. I'm like, I have no idea what they're saying. And I'm like, why didn't you, they're, this is the actual Spanish person, not me, I don't know any. So, yeah. it was yeah. crazy. They're like, oh, I thought you were, not them. Yeah, oh, actually, that's that that happened to me in Italy, and that was one of my favorite experiences. So I'm in Italy, by myself, I'm traveling uh, in college, and I'm, and I'm like outside the Vatican, I'm on my way over there, so I'm in Rome, and a car stops, I'm like on some like back, like back alley street, and I, I always kind of have just this, this air that like I know where I'm supposed, like I'm supposed to be here, whatever it is, like people used to just walk up to me at, uh, at stores and like start asking me where stuff was, because it just like looks like I work there, it looks like I'm supposed to be somewhere, so this car stops, guy rolls down the window and starts, well, from what I can tell, asking me directions in Italy, or in Italian, excuse me. Uh, in Italy, in Italian, and I was like so, I was just so overwhelmed with, with happiness that he like thought I was Italian, that I was like, I knew enough to just be like, hey, I don't speak Italian, Th like thank you for thinking I do, like that's basically what I said to him, Italian, which I, I don't know, I don't have that anymore, but I did at the time, and he was like so confused. Because like to say <laughs> that like, to say somebody, to say somebody but also to say in Italian to somebody I don't speak Italian thank you for thinking I do is is a weird that's a weird thing to say to somebody in that the language to tell them that you don't speak it well well now you're lucky with all the apps out here you just have a Google translator yeah can you app. do that now yeah can you just like, I think there is an app it's like Google Translate I don't think anybody's gonna stick around for that though like you be like oh excuse me yeah hang on and then you just like speak it in your phone like it, like an idiot the app's really cool because if there's like a menu in another language you can take a picture of it, and, no then, it shit. and then it like translate it really? to like English or whatever other language you want. I was see, I was out here trying to like make deals on like uh, shuttle buses and ambulances.
expenses. I'm trying to buy one and convert it into a tour bus. But uh, so everybody, you know, obviously, and I was in Lauderdale, Miami. Everybody in, in that area speaks Spanish for the most part, and uh, and so I, so everybody's like. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're responding back in Spanish. And then rather than be like, I don't speak Spanish, I went on Google Translate, I'm, I'm, but I'm copying and pasting. I'm doing it the longest way possible. And I'm like trying to like deal. And I'm like, well, how much? Of miles. And, like, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I felt, yeah, I felt great. I felt, uh, I felt like a detective. I was killing it. But the Google Translate, yeah, the apps will do it. But you can just take a picture of a menu and then now you're good. And then, yeah, and then it'll like translate it for you That's after crazy. the picture of the menu. Yeah, there's you that... like highlight what part you want translated. And, like, like say you're at a restaurant and you can't read the menu yeah. and you eat. Hungry? You, you don't want to order something yeah. that's disgusting. Mama gotta eat. You don't want like no blood pudding or something <laughs> or whatever. So uh, you know, it translates it for you, so you know what you're ordering, so you don't get like something that you are allergic to. Or... What would you? Yeah. What are you allergic to? What would you not want to eat? I'm not allergic to anything um, that I know of. Oh, so anything can happen. Anything can happen. Like you could just. <laughs> I, eat I've eaten all different types out. of food and never had a problem, so I'm like, I think I'm good. I'm not allergic to nuts. I, I eat shellfish all the time. Yeah. Um, so I know a person who's like allergic to like melons. Yeah. Yeah. I'm My like, buddy's that's allergic weird. to potatoes. Oh really? Yeah, and this is this is funny, and this is this is interesting because so, I does that mean he can never enjoy French fries? That's exactly what that means. <gasps> so here's here's what's great, and he has a joke about it, uh, and it's just this idea, and I didn't and, and it, I didn't think it came from a real place, but now I, I don't much eat potatoes anymore, so I'm always trying to swap the potatoes out for something else, so like it's a, it comes with, it comes a baked potato. So he would have the experience where he would be like. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, I, um, I'm allergic to potatoes. So I can't have a big potato. What else can I have? And they were like, we have French fries. And he was like, yeah, those are <laughs> those are potatoes, right? Even like, if it's cooked in grease? Yeah, like, cause yeah. I have a friend that's allergic to onions, but she could still eat it after they've been cooked. I don't know. See, my father used to play this game where he would say he was allergic to things that I think he just didn't like. You know, he'd be like, oh, I'm allergic to bananas. I'm allergic to celery. I'm allergic to buying you Nikes. Like, he just had anything, anything healthy he's just, allergic well, to? Well, anything, yeah, anything that he just didn't want to do, it felt oh. like. Just easier to, that's the, he, like, knew that that was the easier excuse. You say to the guy at the counter, you go, look, I'm allergic to celery. You can't put that thing in, in my, uh, and my chicken and, and cashew, uh, you know, Chinese food. Because, cause, you know, they put mostly celery in that motherfucker. The thing is, like, mostly celery. It's like celery and a couple True. pieces of chicken. Yeah. So you go, oh, I can't do celery. And they're like, oh, damn it. Now we got to give them real food. Um, but, yeah, no, you... It, uh, yeah, you you would you would know. You never did the thing. Do they do they do the the they, they prick you and they let you know? Oh, the only thing I'm allergic to now that I think about it, uh, my mom told me I'm allergic to penicillin. Oh shit! Because when I was a little baby, uh, me and my brothers were all sick, and so the doctors gave us penicillin, and we all broke out in hives. No shit. So she's like, the whole family. Every time, every time when I was like going to the doctor, like, what are you allergic to? I'm like penicillin. penicillin. So if, if I need antibiotics, they have to give me the other kind. Yeah, give me something else. Yeah, what's it? so? Yeah, well, at least we're we're far enough uh, advanced now where you, we're. Where penicillin isn't like the whole thing, but if, like, if you were living in like when penicillin first came on the scene and that was all there was, you would just have died. Like, you would get an infection. I know that'd that be it. horrible. I don't know if I still have that allergy to it or not, but I try to avoid it. That's what's interesting. Is that we, yeah, we uh, our body changes what every seven years they say, and I'm starting to feel that that kind of way is like things that I used to eat all the time. Now I get reactions from and like and maybe it was maybe I was just maybe I was just twenty I could just muscle through it you know maybe that's what it was or maybe it is that like yeah like every once in a while now I eat an avocado and I like I have the worst stomach pain right after avocados so, yeah, so really I, so trying to avoid avocado which, oh, that which sucks, sucks cause guacamole avocados are, they're is so delicious. amazing they're really delicious yeah <laughs> so yeah it's just it's just one of those things so yeah. Any, it's almost like any day you could just wake up and then for some reason well I can't eat soybeans anymore I guess that's what my life is now. <laughs> well, at least there's not too many like ingredients that have avocado in it, so I guess you're yeah, safe. you can avoid avocado. You know, what people don't know is uh, avocado's poison to dogs. Uh, I heard it's just like mostly the seed and the skin. Yeah, because I remember it's poisonous to cats too. And then I was like shopping at this like you know kind of hipster pet like store once because yeah. I was like, oh, I need cat food. Let me stop in real quick. And there was this like bag of cat food, and it had it said it had avocado in it. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, why is there avocado and cat food? That's poisonous. Why would anyone yeah. want to buy that? So then I was like researching it more, and they're like, no, they're just mostly allergic to the seed. So you, so they can't eat a whole avocado, but if you make guacamole, you can give it to your dog. Or I wouldn't get, uh, not big chunks, but if yeah. they had like a little lick of it, I don't think it'll do okay. anything to them. No, because I remember I had this argument with someone because they're like, no, my dog eats uh, guacamole all the time. I was like, you, be you better not. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. Be. Did He's the not person be actually say that? 
Yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah, my dog just eats guacamole. And I was like, you can't, dogs can't eat guacamole. Like, that's, that's, like, yeah, we had this discussion. Because I was kind of freaked out about it. I'm like, why would yeah. someone who sells cat food want to sell, like, cat food with avocados in it? I'm like, yeah. that's poisonous. And then I did more research. It's a seed, I guess. Yeah, well, so, yeah, it's all that stuff. Right? So, so my dog are really sick once eating grapes. And it's the same thing. It's the grape skins. Fucks the dog up. Uh, I don't know why they just they can't process the skin. So anything that has like that kind of level, like the skin, like a prune, all that stuff with yeah. skins on it, fucks your dog up. Just like chocolate, I guess it's like the caffeine or the yeah, sugar, the oil. Because it's dark chocolate, right? It's the yeah. it's supposedly it's the caffeine because you know, just like you don't want you don't want to give your dog uh, coffee because it'll it'll blow its little heart up. Because sometimes I'll get like Greek yogurt mixed with like honey and chocolate chips and strawberries, and my cat loves Greek yogurt, so I'll, I'll like get a. I'll dip my finger in it, but I'll make sure there's no chocolate chips in it. Yeah. And he'll just, like, lick it off my finger. Yeah. He's a fat ass. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> it. Yeah. Well, he's, but he, you know, but he's, but you give him Greek yogurt, and then he fucks dudes up. He fucks up, like, I, I I sleep with, like, a knife by my bed, so if someone comes to my house, but I also have him. You got a cat. I have him. I have two, you got two weapons. Yeah. Two weapons, cat and knife. <laughs> yeah. I like that story. They're like, what happened? Would you, oh, I got attacked by Chura. <laughs> what? You can't get attacked by Chura. And I gave him snacks after he attacked the guy. I'm like, it's okay. You're, you you're a good kitty. You're a good kitty. You should feed him Churros. That's what you should do. I should. I think it's too much sugar, probably. No, it's not good. It's not yeah. good for We shouldn't be eating him. He shouldn't be eating him. Nobody should be eating him. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, look. Uh, this has been an awesome episode. Um... This is the Porn Search Google Podcast. We're on uh, iTunes. We're on Google Play. Uh, we're also on uh, SoundCloud. Wherever you found us, we're on the other thing. How do people find you? Do you want people to follow you? What do you? Yeah, doing? you can follow me on my Twitter. It's Club Carmen XXX, and my Instagram is Carmen's Booty. Carmen's Booty. Oh, I didn't get a chance to follow you. Carmen's Booty. Oh, shit. Let's get on that. I had to start a new one in May because I got hacked by some hackers and they deleted it. I had like 289,000 followers. So is that that the goal? They they hack so they can steal the followers? I was an idiot and replied to like an email like, oh, your your Instagram needs to be password changed. Someone tried logging into it and I clicked the link without booking. I was an idiot. And and now I realized my mistake after being stupid. And they somehow got into my computer. They found my phone number. And oh, so they're they texting me on my phone. And they, oh, I, they're trying to... And they're like, oh, if you want your account back, uh, you have to do this ransom. video. Yeah, they're trying to like make me do some video. I'm like, fuck you. I'm yeah. like, delete the account, you motherfucker. Delete it. I don't give a fuck. I'll start all over. Yeah. No <laughs> that, they kind of got pissed. Oh, well, fuck you. We're going to leak your phone number. So they leaked my phone number on like this one on Snapchat. So yeah. This one like a uh, big cam site. Yeah. And they put it as a different porn star. Like, what? Like Danny Daniels' number with my number. I'm like, Wait, what? That's weird. What? I had like probably about a thousand calls that night. Oh, no I had shit. to block every single this, number. This, I was not going to get a new number. Gonna... I was like, fuck you. I'm going to keep the same number. I'm going to block every single that's motherfucking so number. And eventually the call stopped and the text messages stopped. And I blocked like over a thousand numbers. Wow. So I'm stubborn. I'm like, you're going to get kinda, shit out of me. That's so funny. That's kind of fucked up too that they were like, uh, the, I, the, the, like they I was were, insulted that they yeah, didn't right. put my name right. on it. You right. fuckers. Like their response was like, no, no, no. We're going to put a different person on. That way we ensure that you're going to get these phone calls. Like, fuck you. I, I would have got the phone call. I thought I was popular. I, I would have so got not. the phone calls. Why would you steal my account if you didn't even think I was the one? You That's insulted so my ego. That's so funny. <laughs> my ego is insulted. All that's just to keep your phone number. Yeah, that's funny. So I cut my phone number. I just had to block it. I'm like, oh, I'm stubborn. That's I went funny. through a Well, let's days. apologize to anybody who uh, yeah. who, who texted you thinking that you were uh, Danny Daniels and, they, and then uh, subsequently got blocked. So you got to be pretty fucking stupid to, to like think a porn Porn search is going to randomly give her number and they talk to you for free. Come on. <laughs> Why would a porn search just, hey guys, give me a call. I'll talk to you and sex you for free. It doesn't work like that, guys. You got to pay money for that shit. <laughs> Everything costs money. That's the pussy lesson. Pussy ain't free. The pussy ain't free. That's the lesson today. Everything costs money and cats are dangerous. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, Carmen Valentina. Uh, you've been incredible. This is the Porn Stars of People podcast. Uh, check us out on the web. Uh, if, you, if you're listening, we also have uh, videos on YouTube. and we got a bunch of, we're, we're everywhere. Just check us out. Facebook, uh, Snapchat. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for listening. Keep, uh, keep, keep trying to bring good content as we can. Thanks so much. And Dan Fergalette.